Praise be to Allah and may Allah raise the rank of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's an obligation to make istinja from the wet najas filth after it has passed from any of the eliminatory outlets. This means if urine or the like passes out of a person, the person must clean himself from the najas filth before praying. Otherwise, the prayer will not be valid. However, one does not have to make istinja after passing gas. Istinja can be done either by using water or by using a material that's pure, solid, dry, uprooting, and unrespected. Such materials are like rocks, tissues, or papers that do not have any Islamic material on them. Performing istinja using water is done by pouring the purifying water over the contaminated place until it becomes pure. As for performing istinja with other than water, it's done by wiping the outlet three times with the aforementioned described materials. If the outlet is still not clean, more wipes must be done until it's clean. However, it's not valid to have less than three wipes even if cleanness is achieved with two wipes. And here is a benefit. It's a rewardable deed, sunnah, before entering the toilet room to say, Bismillah, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-khubthi wal khaba'ith, which means, O oh Allah, I seek refuge with you from the harm of the male and female devils. Also, after leaving the toilet room, it's sunnah, it's recommended to say, Ghufranak, Alhamdulillahi alladhi adhab anni al-adha wa'afani, which means, O oh Allah, I ask you forgiveness. Praise be to Allah, who took the harm away from me and granted me good health. In the end, I ask Allah to grant us the sincere intentions and the proper comprehension. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.